in today's session we'll be seeing how IVF works. So the meaning of IVF that is in vitro fertilization as the name suggests in vitro meaning something that happens outside whereas in vivo meaning something that happens inside the body. So when we say in vitro fertilization means uh, we are the fertilization when it happens outside the body it is called as IVF. So how does it work? Who requires this IVF? So the IVF is indicated uh, in those who uh, have a blocked tubes or in those who have a very low ovarian reserve, those who present a male factor in for severe male factor infertility where there is severe oligoastenoteratozoospermia, or in those who have got failed multiple times failed uh, intrauterine inseminations. I think these there are a series of indications who require in vitro fertilization. So uh, we know during a natural cycle or uh, during an IUI cycle the uh, ovary is stimulated in such a way that a now only a single or a maximum of two eggs grows in the ovary whereas in case of IVF we need multiple eggs because the fertilization or everything happens outside the multiple eggs is required so therefore the hormones that is produced in the body from the brain which is responsible for the follicular growth in the ovary or the egg growth in the ovary the same hormones are given at a little higher dose to make all the possible eggs that is present for that particular cycle in the ovary grow. So daily a woman takes an injection of uh, injections for about 10 to 12 days which stimulates the ovary and makes multiple eggs grow within the ovary and the growth of the egg will be tracked by performing an ultrasonography uh, the, as and when required to see whether the growth is optimum or if anything has to be done to increase the follicular growth. Once the follicles or the eggs reach the size of maturity, the final injection called trigger injection will be given which helps in final maturation of the follicles of the oocyte. So once that is done, usually uh, around 35th hour after giving the injection, the oocyte retrieval or the eggs will be retrieved. So this technique, only this part of the procedure, the IVF, requires anesthesia. So under an anesthesia, a small thin needle will be passed through which all the eggs that is present or the follicles that are present in the ovaries will be aspirated using ultrasound guidance. So once they are all aspirated, they are placed under microscope to see for its quality and then the eggs are placed in a dish, husband semen sample will be taken and the sample is processed to separate out good quality sperms and those sperms will be injected into the same dish and allowed for fertilization to happen inside the lab. So like that the dish will be cultured in the incubator containing both uh, egg and sperms uh, for uh, at least uh, 18 hours and then we check whether the fertilization has happened or not. So once the uh, eggs have fertilized on by sperms, then they are allowed to grow in the lab for about 3 to 5 days until they form the embryo. Later on, they are based on the quality of the, quality of the embryo as assessed under microscope. These embryos will be graded as grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 if it's a day 3 embryo or a blastocyst grading if it's a day 5 embryos. So these embryos based on the grading will later be transferred into the uterus again after the either three days or after growing inside the lab or five days after growing inside the lab into the uterus of the woman where a maximum of two to three uh, embryos will be placed and 15 days after placing the embryos one can confirm whether it has got confer uh, converted into pregnancy or not. So here I would like to mention another uh, feature many a times uh, the one would know uh, what is the difference between IVF and uh, ICSI or ICSI. So ICSI is nothing but intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Most of the process remains the same. It's only the technique of fertilization which varies here. In IVF, both eggs and sperms are placed in a dish and incubated and allowed to fertilize on its own. Whereas in case of ICSI, each sperm is injected into each single egg and then it is cultured and uh, the fertilization is assisted by injecting each egg into the egg, uh, each sperm into the egg. So this is the only difference under that is there between IVF and ICSI procedure. Of course, the indications are different for both. So by doing this, we can uh, help in assisting or identifying what are the, the best quality embryos. And once we transfer the best quality embryos, the chance of pregnancy uh, is almost around uh, 55 to 60 percent with IVF. So this is how an IVF procedure goes and the entire uh, the procedure time might take about uh, one to three months depending on the type of transfer that will be planned. Thank you.